Okay, Jennifer, what I'm going to explain is the process involved in this loaner twin seal. You're taking the product, opening the carton, and closing off one end of the carton, inserting the product, and folding the remaining flaps, putting this carton onto the infeed assembly, and pushing them one at a time into the sealer. And what the sealer does is glue fingers rotate in a bath of hot melt glue, apply the glue to the outer, the inner part of the outer flap, and brings the sealed carton up into a compression area where the glue is dry. I've got some pre-staged cartons that I'll demonstrate the process. These are already filled cartons with the flaps already folded. You'll notice the direction that I'm placing these cartons. <coughs> these particular cartons have the stand-up feet. The stand-up feet are going to be placed into the machine on the right-hand side, and the easy opening feature is going to be on the left-hand side. Cartons are deposited onto a delivery chute, which brings it back to a normal working height. Okay. Everything's mod. Okay, mm -hmm. the small box is on the red, the big box is on the blue. I put the temporary mock. Right? Yeah. There's a mock rather than paint because it's just mm -hmm. a mock. Okay. Um, I'll show you the positions. There's a there's four of these, two on each side. And all you do is just adjust them right to the marks. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. There's two on this side, two on the other side. And you just slide that, those positions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same here. One here, one here. You loosen these, slide these back mm -hmm. to, the, to the blue mark. Right now they're on the red marks. Mm -hmm. Same with this. You loosen this up, slide this up, mm -hmm. or down. I don't know what box you're, you're on. And then the last one is right here. You have to loosen these four handles. These two on the back. Break this handle back mm -hmm. to the neck, to the blue mark. I'm gonna have to show you this. this uh, remove that screw. Put it in. The other elevator plate, they both have box. Mm -hmm. This one's mock blue and the other one's mock red. And those are all your adjustments. Now I'll actually do them so you can. Okay. And then if you want to. Yeah, sure. Know how you want to Two tools required for changeover okay. 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter wrench. And a 4 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. 4 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay. Okay. Now. I'm going to show you a couple of things. These are also marked. They're going to be marked. One's the red. It becomes obvious, you know, when you start actually putting the box in. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because it can't go any other way. Right. It's not a lot of this stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'll raise this up. My blue marks. Most of these, if you get in the ball, be, not a big adjustment, the boxes are fairly close in mm -hmm. size.
You want to make sure you stay level with this block. Mm -hmm. These are going to move together. Again, you just want to move the line there. You just want to move them out to the line. out to a blue mark, mm -hmm. so then my box slides in nice. Now I lifted up one of these, and what you're doing is you're lifting them up so you got about an eighth inch gap. Mm -hmm. It is marked, but just so you know why we're lifting it. Okay, I'm going to lock these down. There's four on this side. Two on the other. Okay. Now we're over here. Rapid. Loosen these up. Slide this up. And then what I do is I put a box in to check my, my square. Mm -hmm. You can see I made a little extra room. I'm just going to loosen this up a little bit. I got, enough, I got it nice and square. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to lock it down. This one's a little tough to get to, but... Okay. Okay. With that, we should be able to... <laughs> the flatheads are always a size small. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just going to remove the screw. It's only one screw. All you do is slide that up. 